Just as it is important to know what standard English is, it is equally important to know what constitutes non-standard English. To start with, all the varieties which are non-British are considered non-standard. In fact, this disagreement regarding the recognition of the varieties which were developed outside the UK started with the emergence of American English as a variety. You will be surprised to know that even uh, within America, the American people had reservations recognizing the American English and it was uh, recognized as a variety of English which was different from British English. Perhaps it implied that if it was different from British English, it was not at par with British English. With the wider spread of English around the globe, especially in the outer circle countries, um, the newer varieties of English also developed and people showed same kind of reservation in recognizing these varieties. Even the varieties which are institutionalized and are used as official languages, for example in India, Singapore, Pakistan, even these varieties of English are, are not recognized as standard Englishes. So what are the varieties which are considered non-standard? It's not only the varieties which developed outside the inner circle, uh, for example in the expanding and, uh, and outer circle countries, but even the varieties uh, within the inner circle countries uh, are some of the varieties in the inner circle countries are considered non-standard. So all the regional varieties uh, in the inner circle countries are also considered non-standard and are uh, grouped together with the outer and expanding circle countries as um, non-standard varieties. And again, you will be surprised to know that until 1970s, even Australian English was not recognized as standard English. And it was only in the 90s that uh, a dictionary of Australian English was published. Now, scholars attribute uh, this lack of acceptance of uh, different varieties of English as standard to two factors. One is the attitude towards race in the US and the other is the attitude towards class in the UK. Uh, when it comes to America, we all know that Americans have always tended to be a little racist and uh, historically uh, the way the uh, black people were treated in America is um, of, is evident to everybody. We have history which uh, clearly shows the maltreatment of the black people at the hands of white Americans. And more recently, uh, this uh, racism in America has uh, raising its head again. And all the people who are not white Americans are treated with a lot of reservation in America. So the 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 varieties which are used by non-white Americans are not considered standard. So the English which is used by uh, black uh, people in America, uh, African American people is not considered a standard variety. Similarly, uh, the the kind of English which is used by other races uh, which live in America is uh, are not considered uh, standard. In case of the UK, UK being an aristocratic society has always been very class conscious and it is said that uh, the moment a person um, speaks his or her mouth to speak, you can identify their class. So the uh, English which is used by uh, people who are at the lower socioeconomic level, their language is not considered standard and the language which is used by the upper classes, that language is considered or that variety of English is considered standard. Some effort has been made towards standardizing uh, and codifying outer circle uh, Englishes. For example, Singapore and India have made an effort to codify and standardize their English. 
um but even then despite having been codified and standardized these varieties are not considered standard um and this attitude uh, towards different varieties of english is uh, almost similar both in the outer circle countries and inner circle countries even within um, outer circle countries uh, these varieties the region the local varieties the regional varieties of english are considered only second best um compared to the uh, native varieties of english and even the outer circle um uh, people in the outer circle countries when it comes to learning english their preference is the native variety and not a local variety of english in the uh, inner circle countries the attitudes are even more biased um it is believed that these varieties will not be able to attract much prestige or at least the same degree of prestige as the um, uh, uk variety or north american or australian variety Uh, it is believed that uh, these varieties are a result of fossilization so this again shows the bias of the people in the inner circle countries towards these varieties they think these uh, varieties are a result of fossilization now fossilization is a process in la- language learning when the learning the further learning of the language comes to a halt and no more language development is possible so the errors that a learner makes uh, it becomes impossible for the learner to remove those errors and those errors are fossilized which means that the language remains deficient in some ways so this is the case with some learners but not all the varieties of english are fossilized as believed by the inner circle um, country people in the inner circle countries so the attitude of the people in the inner circle countries towards different varieties of english is that um the learners of a second language for in this case english they have stopped short of the target like uh, attainment which is what fossilization is so they believe that the users of these varieties of english their english has come to a standstill and they will never be able to attain the target like or native speaker like proficiency or competence and therefore this uh, these varieties will be considered deficient um in some or all uh, domains of language so we believe that um it's not only the varieties which have developed in the outer circle countries which are considered non standard but the regional varieties in the inner circle countries are also considered non standard and then also the varieties which are used by certain races and certain classes in the inner circle countries even in the inner circle countries i mean are also considered non standard